Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things and today I tried out some more like summery lightweight makeup on my face. If you want to know what I tried out and all that stuff, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so the first product I want to try, I bought this because of Patela. She used this in her like five minute get ready routine video. Also, the outfit right now, I have a self tanner developing, so I'm trying to keep my hair off the tanner and just that's happening. But this is the number seven match made custom blend foundation drops. I purchased the shade Cool Ivory because I didn't really know what to do. But essentially, they're drops you add to like your moisturizers and it just like is like a all in one kind of process. So when she used this product in her video, she did her moisturizer, a face primer, and the drops. I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm going to use a face moisturizer, a sunscreen, and the drops and see how that works. For reference, the only things I have on my face right now, I have this 111 Skin Vitamin C Boosting Serum, the Gold Fat and MD Bright Eyes Eye Serum, Eye Cream stuff, and the Revolution Skincare CBD Oil. Okay, so I'm going to be using the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream and the Peter Thomas Roth Max Sheer All Day Moisture Defense Lotion, and this has an SPF of 30. And I guess I'll use two drops of it. I don't know. I don't even know if the shade's gonna match, so it's gonna be a lot of trying, and I will use my hands just like she did. So. Moisturizer. I don't actually know how much this I'm supposed to use. I guess like the normal amount. Oh. Pump of the sunscreen. God, it's a mountain. All right, now this is gonna get messy if I'm not careful. Uh, poor planning, poor planning. One, two, okay, it was three. We accidentally did three because I could not control it, so I'll kind of mix it all. Oh God, it's so much product. <laughs> okay, mix it all together. I'm kind of trying to go for like an easy, summery look in this video, so we'll see how successful I am in that endeavor. My hands are completely covered in product. Okay, <laughs> just by like checking it out, it actually like the color, I like the color and all that. Uh, I think I went and put a little too much product on though. So it really needs to be like really blended in. Oh, I got it all over my nice white towel. Ugh. Whatever, when don't my white towels have makeup all over them? This is, I mean, I don't have fancy towels. These are the Amazon basic hand towels. I definitely bought a giant pack of them. They are in my Amazon storefront. It's just basic, really soft, cheap towels. All right, let's get a barrel of this. I feel like I could have blended it in a little better on the nose, so let's fix that. Overall, color match isn't too bad for my tan, so. <laughs> I don't know, this is it not fully developed though, so we'll see, but I'm honestly trying to find like really good products to be able to like take on vacation because something like this would be cool to have, so that's where my mind is. Now, I don't really remember the rest of her video, but I am going to throw on some concealer, a little eye primer. Yeah, I'll just be right back. Oh boy, okay. Really fast to go over what I put on. I used the Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer from First Aid Beauty because I feel like it's a lighter weight kind of concealer. And I used some MAC Paint Pot. And then for like a flush on my cheeks, just to kind of make it more like sun-kissed or whatever, I used the Flower Beauty Blush Balm in Pinched. Now I have a stick highlighter I want to try out. It's this little mini I have. This is from Milk Makeup and this is the Turnt Stick Highlighter. I actually have another shade that I want to compare it to. This shade is called Lit. Okay, so that's lit. Sorry, I'm doing, I'm just doing it where there isn't self tanner, so it doesn't mess it up. And then this is the shade Turnt, which might look like, which might look like a little bit pink. Ooh, okay. So, so this one here is lit. 
and this one is turned oh my god it's so much more blinding than the oh my god <laughs> all right this is gonna be fun to play with so cute and even for the the blush bomb i used my finger to blend it in because i feel like the makeup sponge soaks up a lot of product when i use it so just kind of looking for some natural glowy products right now and i think this one is a good one <laughs> and i think this may have come in the little festival kit that i bought from sephora i don't know if they still have it if they do still have it for sale i'll link it below okay now i'm going to put on some powder because that's what i would do in the hot sun to keep it from falling off my face put some eyebrows on and then i have a couple eye products to play with so let's do that okay i did a little bit more than i said i was going to do but i was trying to work with the new product because i felt like things sit differently over this and it's probably because it's a moisturizer and not a foundation but i felt like the blush bomb wasn't sitting well over it i don't know so let me tell you what i did really quick because i just wanted a natural like i want the like natural looking face kind of going on right now like i've been out in the sun and just been like blessed with tan skin and not bought tan skin so i went in with the la mercier translucent setting powder under my eyes and i set the rest of my face with the alme press powder for my eyebrows i used the benefit precisely my brow in the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel then i decided to just go in and do my bronzer and blush for bronzer i used the makeup revolution mega bronzer in cool and for my blush i just wanted a glowy blush i didn't want to put highlighter on since i already have the highlighter on underneath so this is the wet n wild baked blush in don't flutter yourself okay now to play with some new makeup finally again so this is from ColourPop. this is their creme gel liner in the shade best O, best zero i don't know this came in a little set i bought but it looks like it might be a like deep plum shade so I'm gonna pop this on really quick. I'll be right back. Okay, that was a very creamy, easy to use formula. It's not quite as intense as a black liner. Oh God, I'm like sticking to the seat in this heat. But I really liked it. Great formula. I've never used any type of liner at all from ColourPop actually. Now I bought this in the Memorial Day sale from Sephora. I decided to give Tarte's eyeshadows a second chance. This is the Tartlet Flirt Palette and it looks like this it looks like a great neutral travel palette i'm going to start with hotline over here Ooh, very powdery okay already these shadows have so much pigment <laughs> any other tart shadows i've used in the past did not have pigment that being said, I've never used any of the actual Tartlet palettes that are very popular. So maybe this formula, that Tartlet formula is different. That's why people like them because, oh my goodness, I was trying to do a very subtle look today and this is a very pigmented shadow. Okay. I'm going to take this wet and wild, like little fluffy brush with gaze up here. Oh my god these are i mean like the powderiness it's a lot i mean it doesn't really bother me if the shadows work i just know other people don't love it i'm gonna use this farah short shading brush with a mix of those two shades under the lower lash line Sorry, I never said the brush I was originally using. It's the Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. I'm going to go in with Snuggle over here. Wow. I'm very surprised with these shadows. Hmm. There's two, like, shimmers. So I think I'm going to go with this one, which is Passion. This one over here is Touch. Finger for that. Ooh, very pretty. I have always thought that their shimmer shades were pretty in the palettes I had. I just always had issues with the mattes, so I'm glad to see how well these are working. And then I'm going to go in with Playful. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, I also meant to tell you, 
my lips were looking crusty before and it's I know it because it, I know it's because I didn't use my um, lip my Laneige lip sleeping mask before bed last night so that's when they always get crusty so I tried out this this is the lipstick queen lip restore lip scrub and kind of scrub my lips while I was doing the rest of my makeup off camera and they're nice and smooth now ready for makeup so I'm really quick going to use the flower seal the deal setting spray to set everything in place okay so I want to try this miss Ooh. I'm going to try this mascara. This is the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Volume and Length Mascara. I want to try this because Wonder Beauty's whole thing is like their makeup is like travel friendly. And I actually got, I actually have two of these. I have one that came in an Allure Beauty Box and one came in a Birch Box set that I bought. But I really like the last Wonder Beauty mascara that I tried so I'm kind of excited for this one. Ooh, I really like how this looks. It's a one eye with, one eye without. I really am liking it. I did see someone on Instagram stories say it was hard to wash off and that they thought maybe it was waterproof. But it didn't say that on the packaging. So I'm going to kind of read the packaging when I'm done and see if it says anything like that. Because that's a really good looking mascara. Let's see. Volume and length of mascara. No, it doesn't say anything about it being waterproof. So I'll definitely be checking that out. And finally, we have a lip product. As I've mentioned, I'm doing a lip series on this channel. And today I'm filming this. It is June 8th. So this is the eighth day of the series. This is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Naked. This is a free sample I received from Ulta. Okay. Now, I've never tried any of the Vice lipstick formulas. Uh, I have, I do have Naked in a mini lip gloss sample, but I don't have any of these. And here is Naked, gonna pop it on really quick. Doesn't really have a scent. I really like it. Ooh, that is a really creamy formula. Hmm. I know like, by the time this goes up, the Jaclyn Hill controversy is probably going to be blown under the rug by now, but I just wanted to show. I don't know if you can see, but it's the first time I use this lipstick and there are like little lines on it. So I have a feeling that's just like what lipsticks do when people are maybe making a reason to look for reasons there's problems with Jaclyn's lipstick. Yeah, the ones that have like stuff dragging along your lips, that's probably an issue, but I don't know if the line thing is. But honestly, I'm really happy with the way this makeup look turned out. I just wanted something light and easy, and I think we got what we were looking for. We'll do a quick recap. Start with the number seven drops. I'm really liking it. I think it's an interesting way to go about putting on your makeup in the morning, especially if you want something lightweight and you're just planning on using a moisturizer. Like I said, the tail, I used a moisturizer and a primer, so maybe I could try that instead of the moisturizer with the SPF. I was just trying to do what I wanted to do. <laughs> I liked the Milk Makeup little stick here. I think turnt is much more shabam in your face than lit. I liked the ColourPop eyeliner. I'm very happy with the Tarte eyeshadow palette. I'm glad I gave them a 20th chance or whatever it is now. Even though this wasn't part of the review, the Lipstick Queen uh, Lip Restore Scrub kind of became part of the review. My lips are definitely not crusty like they were at the start of the video. I liked the Wonder Beauty mascara. I'm liking the lipstick. So let me know in the comments. Have you guys tried any, any of these products? How did they work out for you? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!